Hey guys, this is Canon with MakeUsif.com, and today I'm reviewing Blue Products' latest flagship design for 2014, the Blue Life Pure smartphone. The MSRP is $350, but I've seen it priced as low as $315. And for the money, that's quite a bit of smartphone. It comes packaged in a relatively high quality box, using a felt lined tray to seat the smartphone. It includes a number of peripheral devices, including a micro USB cable, an AC adapter, some surprisingly high quality ear jams. This is actually metal, and it uses a flat cable. The Life Pier has relatively good hardware for the money. It offers a quad core MediaTek MTK6589 processor, which is clocked at 1.5 gigahertz. And, and it's a pretty powerful CPU, although it's not all that comparable to the Snapdragon 800, which routinely scores better than it in Antutu. The MediaTek processor scores around 15,000, whereas the Nexus 5's processor scores somewhere in the 20,000 range. I'm going to give a quick demonstration of the performance differences between the Nexus 5 and the Blue Life Pure. Right now I'm launching Netflix, and as you can see there's a slight delay between when I press the icon on the Life Pure and when the app launches. And it actually fully loads uh, a few seconds faster on, on the Nexus 5, but the performance difference really isn't all that large, and unless you're a total geek, you probably won't care. So which phone wins in the matchup between the Nexus 5 and the Blue Life Pure? Overall, the Blue Life Pure offers excellent value. Although it doesn't really beat the 5 in performance, and after spending over a month with it, it feels like a very good buy for those who don't want or can't find a Nexus 5 and want a relatively high-end unlocked smartphone with lots of storage, a really good camera, and a great screen. And that concludes this review. Thank you so much for watching, and for a full-length review, please visit makeuseof.com.